welcome back to our channel we're the garso twins britta and carly and today we just wanted to do like a very casual get ready with me video mm -hmm. we're actually in palm springs for my boyfriend's 30th birthday which is why we're in this random bedroom mm -hmm. <laughs> we're on i the mean ground. i don't know if you could even tell because we never film in our bedrooms at home but it's that's true we're not at home we're and we're on our like vlogging camera so if the quality looks a bit different but we just wanted to film a video and do our makeup with you guys and hopefully the lighting's okay we don't want to open the window too much because it's pretty bright yeah i'm putting on chapstick first my lips are really dry i know it's really it's really cold here actually at night Mm -hmm. um so i guess this is kind of like we'll show you what travel makeup we bring which i know we've done videos about before yeah. but we've never actually like put the travel makeup on this is also just like the things that i've been wearing lately yeah i guess me too um are you using this oh um i might mix them in so this is the clinique for men face bronzer that you guys know that we love um, it just, it looks like this, if you can see. It's very dark, uh, it's a gel consistency, and so I like to just mix it in with my primer um, to give a little color. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I have been loving the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I talk about this all the time. It is like my favorite tinted moisturizer type thing. You're not using a primer? Oh uh, no, I never use a primer. Oh. I tried to put that multiple times. She doesn't use a primer. I, I do I because could. my skin is so dry and the um, hangover primer is very moisturizing. Maybe I'll spray with my hangover spray primer. Yeah. It's basically the same thing. I just need added hydration. Like even after my um my moisturizer, I need something with hydration. I'm mixing bronzer into that complexion rescue because I have a really light shade. Yeah, that's actually something to mention. Are you okay? So then I'm going in with the. Oh, oh. Should you apply? Oh, you you have more steps. You can go. Okay. I I put too much. Um. Then I'm using the Pixie. Ooh. Oh my god. This we're is falling struggling apart. a bit. Uh. Then I'm using the Pixie Correction Concentrate, and honestly, this is really hard. I'm like using this. I need a mirror. Oh. Oh. That's Luna. You guys are. Um. Now. I'm just applying this with my fingers. This is how I do. Yeah, uh, we're like using the viewfinder, which is actually kind of nice. We have a viewfinder on this camera. Uh, we don't have one on our Canon. I'm actually going to use for foundation the Wet n Wild. Uh, sorry if you can hear our dog. Yeah, we don't want to let her out because no one else is here right now. And so we don't know what she'll do. Um, the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I, I forgot how much I love this. So I repurchased a darker shade because the other shade was a bit too light. So this is the shade Neutral Beige. And I love this. <laughs> Same before Luna interrupted me. was that this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I really enjoy it because... It's a very light coverage foundation, and I feel like it's good for dry skin. It's not too matte, but I wouldn't say it's dewy either. It's just a very natural finish, which I think is really pretty, especially for, like, the winter time when, you know, I don't really like a lot of coverage in general, but especially for the winter, I would, like, opt for something, um, like, sometimes matte is okay for summer for me, but, uh, for winter, definitely something that looks like skin. I'm using the Too Faced multi sculpting concealer but i apply it on the back of my hand and then i go in with a brush because this concealer is really full coverage and since i use just like a very sheer bb cream the complexion rescue i don't want it to look too stark against like my essentially bare skin so i always go in with a brush and i like and then i blend it out with a beauty blender kind of a lot of steps for concealer but i also am starting to get quite a bit quite a few fine lines under my eyes and i find that this helps I'm um, using not make them look so visible. Tarte Shape Tape, uh, a full coverage concealer, just like Carly. <laughs> I I don't know. Um, let us know which one you guys prefer. I haven't tried the Too Faced just because I love Shape Tape so much. Uh, but I know that people really love it. So let us know which one you like more for dry skin specifically. We have dry skin. I I have combo skin, but I only put concealer like in the places that are dry. Yeah. Well, you put it under your eyes, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I bring my concealer on my nose too, just because I have so Me much. Too. Yeah, like I, um, my coloring on my nose is so inconsistent. So you didn't even use that out. whole amount. Like this concealer is, I, I think the applicator is cute. It's like the shape tape, but bigger, but like, it's just so full coverage that the applicator applies way too much. Yeah. It also kind of depends. Um, I mean, I use the sponge to blend everything out and Me I do too. think that it soaks up a lot of the product, which is why I like using a sponge for everything, uh, because it gives like a really nice finish, but it also soaks up excess product that I don't really want. Black Beauty Blender for the win. I really think it's different than the rest. Um, I'm using the Glossier Wouter in the shade Light Medium. I'm actually almost out of this, 
So I'm going to try a different powder. Maybe I'll try the Cover FX one because you have a spare, right? Mm -hmm. um, because I really do like this. Honestly, I think it's really nice for dry skin. But I'm just looking for like the perfect powder for my skin. And so far, I don't think I found it. Like this, um, I don't think it's not like it looks really white on the skin or anything like that. But it's just not truly translucent, which it doesn't claim to be, obviously. But I just want to find something that really just like melts into the skin and doesn't make me look dry and this doesn't make me look dry so this could just be the best thing for me um and i'm just like dreaming and hoping and wishing that there's something better but i would recommend it if you haven't tried it um my dream travel palette is the hourglass unlocked i love it so much i've talked about this so many times it's so pretty but i'm just going to use the <clears throat> setting powder in here and i haven't been setting my under eyes because really they are so ungodly dry i can't do it and this concealer we need our makeup to last today this concealer doesn't doesn't go away it's true that when i use that joa concealer that we talked about before um i don't set my under eyes because that one looks so much better when you don't set it i really love that for but, i mean day. honestly for me like with all these fine lines appearing under my eyes every concealer looks better if i don't set it oh okay I just want mine to last. I don't know. Um, I'm telling you, it's the, I'm I just taking like excess powder. This and stuff lasts. This born this way, yeah. it lasts a long time if you don't set it. I'm taking excess powder on this Wet n Wild powder brush and just doing the rest of my face, just because I want um, the bronzer and stuff to stick to it really well. Uh, just because it's going to be a long day. Where uh, I guess we should tell you what we're doing today. Um, well, the boys are golfing right now, which is why we're here alone. Let me find my bronzer. It's also my anniversary, so if you want oh, to give happy me anniversary, to anniversary oh, shout out. I didn't out. forget, but six uh, years. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer, my all-time favorite bronzer, my all-time favorite product. La Colombe. We've talked about these. So good. So good. We just tried the vanilla flavor. You guys know we're on like the uh, peppermint mocha. We love that one because they have that at Trader Joe's, and you know we only like really shop at Trader Joe's. Um, but. We found the vanilla flavor at Ralph's because that's what they have here. In Palm I can't believe you said this brush doesn't shed for you. It is Not really. shedding like crazy. But I really like it. Um, my go-to travel bronzer for the mirror and my favorite bronzer is the Marc Jacobs. I'm using it with this Jaclyn Hill bronzer brush. Yeah, I really like this Jaclyn Hill bronzer brush because you can like do your whole face in five me seconds. Me too. Like, and um, for me, when I travel, the makeup has to be quick. Yeah. Like I just applied stuff with my hands. The concealer was the most tedious part. Wait till you see the lack of eyeshadow I do. I brought a palette, so I kind of want to do something. I don't know. It's We're going out for sushi tonight, so I want to look nice. True. I mean, I might touch up later. Who knows? That's true. Can you hear the um, people cutting their grass outside? Uh, just blending that out. Um, it's so wait. funny how different things look on camera. I know. It's so weird. I'm like, am I applying too much bronzer? Yeah. Never too much, though. Awana Davidson applies so much. People yeah. get at her, come at her for it. But I like how her bronzer looks. She is stunning and her makeup skills are great. I love how she does her makeup. Me too. She She's actually so inspired me to start um, applying like all my foundation and stuff with my fingers. Yeah, she has great skin too. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you can't hear that outside. You but yeah, really we're, we're staying in this house with a bunch of people, mostly boys, so they're all golfing. And then... Um, we're gonna go to sushi later, like an early dinner, so we can come back to the house and hang out here. Oh, this is because we love the the outside. Maybe we'll. Well, I guess we'd have to insert it into the. Yeah, maybe we'll take we'll a put thing it on our phone. Voice. We could take a th video on our phones. True. Um, this is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. I love this so much. It's the perfect everyday shade. It's, Do I have enough bronzer on? Yeah. It's Love Baby, Love Baby, Baby Love. Oh, you know what else I was gonna do because it is a special birthday night. Well, um, she's gonna do something crazy. I was going to contour with the middle shade in you know the what? unlocked palette. It's a really good contour shade for me. It's um because these powders are so like sheer. Um, that's really funny because I never really contour and I brought my contour brush thinking Carly would bring some sort of contour product if I wanted to use it. I mean, it's a very subtle contour, but every time I do it, I actually realize it. I notice a difference. But now I'm doing it over my bronzer because I forgot to do it first. Let me check it. But it's so sheer. Also, we're not talking too fast. We just don't want this video to be so long. I feel like our get ready with me are always Everyone's is it this yeah. one? Everyone's also going to be home soon, so we're oh, yeah, that's to true. Get this completed. I don't know, is this doing anything? I can't tell. It depends how dark your other bronzer is. It's medium. It's okay. If I do this before my bronzer, you can definitely tell. It's such a subtle, beautiful contour, but... 
I seriously love this palette. It might be the most my most favorite makeup purchase okay. I've ever purchased. And now on to highlight for me. And um, I brought, when I travel, I don't want to bring, a lot of my highlights are so breakable, if you can relate. Um, so I like to bring the Smashbox and Casey Home Spotlight Palette uh, in this middle shade in here. Does it have a name? Crank it up. Oh, I used to love that palette. Yeah. I haven't brought it in so long. I like bringing it because it's so um, easy to travel It with. was my top highlighter of 2017 in our mm -hmm. last year video. Um, I'm going to so go pretty. in with this blush shade. Shout out to Sam Ravendahl. She said it looks like her MAC. What is that blush everyone loves? Um, Some MAC blush that she loves. The one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she said it looks like the original. And it's such a... I, I was always gravitating toward this middle blush shade in this palette. And I started using this one. It's so pretty. Okay, now, um, after I'm done with my powders, I always set my face with setting spray. And then I, like, press the powder in. So, um... And then, honestly, generally, I have, like, my little electric fan that I usually use at this point. But I didn't bring it because that would be really extra. So I just kind of press the powder products into my skin to make it look more flawless. I bring my blush pretty far in. Do you guys do that too? Where? Like right here. Oh yeah. I feel like that's your face I just like how it looks. looks. I like how it I don't, looks. Um, I've been bringing it further in than I used to, but um, I don't do it that much. Okay, so <laughs> this is weird, but with this highlighter and this palette, and it's the one I'm going to use today, um, it's so like... It has such a sheer base that I actually like apply my setting spray first and then going in with the highlighter So it has something to like grip onto you, but again, like mm. I've used most True. of these colors in this palette today It's such a good palette. I'm not sponsored. I just love this hourglass palette. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my same spray I used for my primer Oh, you're getting me. I know it has quite the nozzle. Okay, so now I'm gonna do eyeshadow See Carly thinks that She's so kind of low maintenance and quick with her few steps, but I'm already on eyeshadow. Well, I'm there too. I'm just doing eyeliner. I'm doing the Soft Glam palette today. This is the one I always travel with because it's filled with beautiful neutral shades. And the shade Burnt Orange, uh, I feel like it's in most of their palettes. I know it's in Modern Renaissance as well, um, but that's like the perfect transition shade for me. I mean, it's a warm tone transition shade. And honestly, like I do wish that there were more complete neutral palettes because i know we've spoken about this before but our skin tone is very neutral um we don't have pink undertones we don't have yellow undertones and I, as much as i love warm tone eyeshadows i think they kind of suit any skin tone i just wish that there were more neutral palettes out there because that really suits our skin um the best i feel like that about this concealer the shade range is massive it's like what is it like almost 30 shades or yeah. something yeah and I can't find a shade that fits me. Like, this is so yellow based for my skin tone, but then everything else was super pink. Like, there is just no good shade for me. Um, so yeah, I took that shade Burnt Orange, and now I'm just kind of buffing it out, just because this is the transition. So I want it to come up pretty high. I mean, you guys know. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I can't, with tell. I can't tell how my highlighter looks. Yeah, I can't either. I'm just trusting it. It's really hard, because we don't usually do our makeup in front of a window. Everything looks kind of blown out, you know? Yeah. And um, then I'm going in with the shade Rustic right here, this one. It's like a really pretty, this is a neutral brown, I will say. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm putting that just in the outer crease area. Okay, eyeshadow for me. What are you doing? And then my crease brush. I don't know, I brought this little pa <clears throat> Whoa, palette that I make myself, just with shades I like. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna throw MAC Uninterrupted all over. It is like my favorite. Oh, I just love it. One sec, you'll see. And yeah, I mean, I generally, like, today, you know, like, there's days when you wanna spend time on your makeup and you're like, ooh, let's try something new. Today's not really that day, just because we're gonna be home soon. We have to, you know, get out there, do some things. Um, so it's kind of like a low maintenance day, so I'm just kind of doing what I would normally do. Now I'm just blending out that color into the burnt orange so they blend. We're kind of doing everything pretty fast, if you can't tell. Now I'm going to take, oh, hopefully I have that brush, burnt orange on a smudger brush and do put this in the lower lash line before I do the lid shade. I don't know why. doing some weird stuff right now. It's not really blending. Uh, I think my skin's pretty dry here, honestly. Yeah. Oh my god, I have to blend with a different brush. You can probably see that. 
Oh, I love this Sephora Pro Crease Brush that has since been discontinued. I wish it wasn't. I would get another. Their brushes are expensive though. Yeah, this was on sale before it went away. Oh. Kind of like last year. Yeah, they're good, but uh, for like the Sephora collection, they're fairly expensive. Or they were more fairly expensive. I think they're even more expensive now after they re-released their oh, brushes. Oh, that's crazy. I love MAC Uninterrupted. If I could pick Which a favorite one is shadow, it? it's this one. Yeah, that's very mustardy and pretty. Yeah, but then when you put it on your eyes, it it looks like a like a little warm brown, but not too warm, like not orangey. Yeah. Because I, for if I want a more orangey look, um, Anastasia Caramel is my go-to shade. Like this is what I normally do. I'll just throw on a color all over. Okay, now I'm gonna spray uh, this little shader brush with my. Oh, I used the NYX Dewy Finish Settings, right? I don't think I said that. I love this one, and it comes in a travel size, which is awesome. Uh, there's this really beautiful shade in this palette called glistening and I know you won't be able to tell it's this one right here It's like a true champagne. I think it's so flattering all over the lid. Sometimes I just put this on the lid uh, So I'm gonna put that on the lid tr like obviously focusing on the inner corner since I just put that other shade on the outer corner But not being too precise with it because um, I do just want it to be kind of everywhere I don't normally wear eyeliner, but um I don't think I'm going to now. I think I might just put some on before we go to dinner. Yeah, me too, because eyeliner really irritates my eye. If you guys have a recommendation in an eyeliner that you can put in the waterline that doesn't irritate sensitive eyes, let us know because I feel like I really love the Double Life shade from Urban Decay, and I think it's so pretty, but it's since be like made my eyes really watery and like I can't wear it for long periods of time. And I haven't had it for that long, so I don't think it's expired or anything like that. But it's just frustrating because I do like how eyeliner kind of like makes everything pop. Yeah, it does. I'm just applying the same um, color to my lower lash line with the Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. I love this for lower lash if you just want a real blown out lower lash line. Very diffused. Okay, our camera turned off and so we hope it was before we started mascara. Um, but we weren't going to show that anyways because, oops. It's not fun, but I use L'Oreal Lash Paradise on the top lashes and Wet n Wild, the skinny mascara on yeah, my me bottom. too. So, same. So, we have our mascara done. So, I think now all that's left is eyebrows. Okay, so now we're doing brows. I'm using the CoverGirl Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Brown. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number four. And um, my brows are really, I should like clean them up. I just haven't. I recently got mine done, but they're always just a bit off, and I don't really, I just kind of like put the pencil wherever, to be honest. I do not. Me too. Very lightly. I'm not, yeah, I'm not precise at all, uh, just because I'm just not a brow person. Like, I don't have great brows. Carly has good ones, so I just don't feel the need to, like, take my time. You know, some people are like, I always do brows off camera because it takes me so long. I'm like, oh, really? Because it yeah, takes me, like, two seconds. Yeah, I don't spend a lot of time, but I do have quite a few brow hairs. Terry, um, I love the Benefit Brow Pencil though, highly recommend. Terry's over here like wondering if he wants to jump up on that bench. What are you doing, bud? Oh, he's sitting on my lap instead. You can't see him, but he's here. Oh, there's his ear. Oh. Okay, for brow gel, I'm actually using the ColourPop um, Brow Boss Brow Gel in the shade Light Brown. Um, I bought this because I saw they came out with the colored ones and I really liked their original, but it dried down white and I hated that. And then I've realized this one kind of dries down white too. I think but I'm gonna use the that today actually. Oh really? Mm -hmm. But if you just brush it down with a spoolie, it's okay. And I really like this because the hold is really nice. I like that it does fill in the brows with some pigment, even if it does come off a little white. Um, and yeah, I just, I haven't found anything that works better for my brows, I would say, which is nice because I've tried so many. Like, we really liked that Maybelline one, but the brush itself was so big that I felt like it was more suited for Carly's eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And I really liked the, um, the fibers in it because it gave my brows some volume, but it just wasn't my favorite. So I'm glad that I purchased this one again to try it out because I do really enjoy it. Actually, I need a new one of this. It's the Brow Boss Gel and Clear. Um, like I said, my brows are kind of crazy right now, so I wanted just a clear brow gel over that pencil, but it's pretty goopy, so I definitely need to order a new one. Yeah, and it's so cheap. I think it's like $6. I'm just using this yeah. spoolie on my brow pencil because I forgot to bring one. I'm using a spoolie too. I have to clean up my eyebrows. They are quite something else. Okay, that's it for me. Me too. 
Um, um, I probably I won't put a lip color on now just because my lips are so dry. Yeah, I really won't either just because we're kind of, it's like during the day. Um, and I'll probably put something darker on for night. Yeah. But Later, I can show you, can show you what we'll probably put on. Yeah. I, I don't know where my lip liner is, but it's the Bite Lip Liner in 036. Paired with this Lancome Matte Shaker in Completely Not. It's my favorite lip combo. And I'll probably wear it tonight. I brought three lip colors. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 23. It's like a deep mauve. I love this. It's one of my all-time favorites. And then Ofra Miami Fever. Another great one. It's a deep orange. And then I also brought Ofra Verona, which is like a neutral brown. So I guess it depends. I mean, my outfit's going to be black as always. So it doesn't really matter. But um, And my eyes are neutral. Thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, we like filming these. We just don't do it very often for various reasons. But we can do them more if you enjoy them. Yeah, and maybe next time we'll do like a Q&A during it. So we're not just talking about what we're doing. Yeah. Um, we don't know if you guys like that. If we talk about what we're using when we're doing it. Uh, or if you'd rather us like chat. 